Good evening guys, hope you're all well, I hope you've all had a great day. Um, I'm going to be running through analysis for both of today's trades, explaining what I saw and the reasons for taking them, and going to run through why GBP AUD, which is the trade we took the loss on, would have actually been profitable and would have actually reached our target if it hadn't have stopped out. So we're going to run through all that now, um, so let's get straight into it. So the currency pair I'm looking at currently is the CHF. JPY. So this was the first trade. This was the first profitable trade. Um, I'm also going to run through some ways of how to maximize your profits too, as I have had quite a lot of messages about how to maximize profits. How do I make more and keep my risk less? So I'll go through that too. So firstly, on the CHF JPY, what you can see here, which is very clear, and I've highlighted this by the red box, is this is a very strong resistance region. So a resistance region is basically a ceiling that price struggles to break through. So since the start of January this year, this Price, this level sorry, has not been broken through and every time price has come up into this region it's fallen back down every single time and we reached this region again um, literally a couple of days ago and again it rejected the region it fell back down and then it pushed back up into the region and then fell back down again so what I wanted to see was number one a clear rejection of this region to suggest that this is not going to break again and it's actually going to continue back down lower. Now, the only thing that was worrying me was this ascending trend line. So the lows of price were actually getting higher, which suggests an uptrend. So what I wanted to see was a clear rejection from this red box and a very clear break of this trend line, which of course we saw. And then we saw again, we saw a break of this low here and it fell down. And then we saw a break of this new candlestick here. Now we entered right around here because we wanted to see a clear break of the most recent low which was this point here so what we were waiting for was price to break just enough below to warrant that it's not going to retest from this region it's not going to shoot back up it's going to continue its descent lower so obviously we entered here and we closed at the bottom of this candlestick here so we secured a quick um, 10 points depending on when you got in um, but obviously if we'd held on as you can see, price continued down and down and down and down. So what I'm going to do after this video is show you how you can actually make your trade completely risk-free once it's in profit and how to maximize your profits even more. Um, so anyway, this was the reason for taking this trade here. And as well, like I said yesterday, on the currency strength meter, the Swiss franc was very, very weak and the Japanese yen was pretty strong, which confirms the um, sell-off. So that was the CHF JPY trade. Now let's get into the GBP AUD trade. Now, what I waited for here was this support region to be clearly broken, uh, which we broke a couple of days ago. Um, so as you can see, a support region is kind of a floor, which price struggles to break below. So as you can see here, many rejections from this region, price is shot up every single time it's come into that. And then finally we get this break here. Now, as you can see as well, which I've um, identified by these two trend lines, that price has been operating within this channel. Um, every time it comes down to the bottom end of the channel, it shoots back up. And when it reaches the top channel, it shoots back down. So it's done this many times. Um, and as you can see here today, it reached the top end of the channel as well. So what I was waiting for was a clear rejection from this region. I didn't want to see it push higher and obviously we sold so I waited for the clear selling candlestick with price falling down and then I wanted to see a break of the previous lows um, which obviously we got and we entered the trade around here. Now the issue with this trade was um, obviously we entered this on this candlestick here if I zoom in you can see it a bit better. Um, price started to push down which looked fantastic. It broke the previous two lows which we got which suggested it was going to continue down so we entered the trade and unfortunately price continued down sat nicely in profit for, sh for a short amount of time and then continued to rise back up and it actually reached our stop loss here and then as you can see it continued its way down when we were out of the trade and the trade had taken a loss. Um, these things happen in trading. Um, it's one of those things where you can be absolutely right, but for some reason the market just wants to stop you out and then continue its way down. But it's good um, for reassurance that you know the analysis was right and the you know the, my head was in the right place and the thought process was in the right place, um, but it was just one of those things. So let's finish this week strong, guys. Any questions, please do WhatsApp me on the new number I've posted in the group 
group um, as I want each and every single one of you to be profitable I want you all to learn how to do this for yourselves um, because you know at the end of the day we're a big trading trading community um, so please WhatsApp me and I will be posting another little video and some screenshots to show you how to maximize profits on a trade and how to make your trades risk-free